Welcome to Athletes Live's Network exclusive interviews. My name is um, Carl Bennings, founder and CEO of Athletes Lives. Today what I want to do is, is give you a brief history of East Chicago Central Football. Um, this past weekend, this past week during the holiday on Thanksgiving, we had an opportunity to play in our fourth annual football game. And I met some of the, the um, new players at the EC Central. And what kind of, kind of bothered me is that I didn't know none of the players' names. And, and being an alum, I felt like it's our duty to know each and each individual um, player that comes to East Chicago Central. Um, since my, since 2003, I think that was Sam Daniels and them last year, I haven't attended a football game at East Chicago Central. So, so what I want to start doing is allowing athletes like myself and former athletes to be more in tune with today's athletes and also allow the future athletes to understand where Central came from in 1986, starting 1986 Cardinals. I have here the website, um, you know, as you say, in, in, independent, East Chicago Central Football. We have uh, Coach Stacy Adams. This is his first year. He went 5-5, five and five, which is you know, pretty good first year coach. Playoff record, 9-25, and 25, which is not good. This year class, 4A. I thought we were 5, but I guess we were 4A. Section 9, independent. Pete Brzezinski Field, enrollment 1433. As you can see right here, I'm going to scroll down. You can see each individual year. 2010, 9, 8, 7, 06, 05, 04. All the way down until you get to 1986, the very first year. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to go through each year and just give you a little brief history on each individual year just to allow people like myself and the, the younger athletes to understand where football came from East Chicago Central and who paved the way for their opportunities today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Northern Indiana. Scroll over here and go to Northern Indiana. Football. That brings me to the page where it gives you the opportunity to go 2009 on down. So we're going to start with 1986. In 1986, uh, East Chicago Central, uh, East Chicago Roosevelt, and East Chicago Washington finally joined together and made one school, which is not, you know, no surprise. But that first year, they were still in the Lakeshore Conference. And in the Lake, Lakeshore Conference, we had Hammond No, Hammond Gavitt, Hammond Morton, East Chicago Central, Hammond, Hammond High, and Hammond Clark. Well, that year, we had a pretty good year. Central um, was 3-2 and two in conference. Um, and the overall record was six and three. Now that season, they had 118 points, four, and they gave them 143 points. So let's go over their record. East Chicago went six and three, as you can see. Played, you know, beat Roosevelt, Hammond Clark, Gavitt on down. Played a real tough team in Hammond No, and Morton was some real good ball clubs during that time. Hammond, um, a team of Illinois, Gary Westside, and lost a sectionist to Hammond again. On that team that year, they had um, Brian Harvey, Reggie Huey Little, Jarek Knox, and Hosai um, Bridgman. Now let's go to 1987. This is the first year that Central became an independent school. I don't know why they did it, but they did it. And during that time, the independent schools was, you know, the schools you see right here. Central had a bad year that year. They uh, went 2-7 and seven on that ball club. Was, um, they had um, Scott Upshaw was one of the ball players that year. And as you can see, they went 2-7. and seven. They scored 144 points, but gave up a 208. Let's go ahead and go over their um, record. Play Roosevelt, Gary Wallace, and on down, as you can see, their schedule. And lost in the section those two um, Highland. Now we're going to go to 1988 football season. <coughs> In 
and the pin it again. Once again, the teams was right there. East Chicago Central went two and seven again. Scored 115 points. Gave us 261. <coughs> Let's scroll down to their schedule. Start over Gary Roosevelt. He had a pretty rough season that year. Um, had two big victories though. They they beat Hammond um, Bishano and Hammond Morton that year, which is which is big victories. On that team that year, they had um, Scott Scott Upshaw was a senior that year. 1988 season. He ended up going to Ball State. Now let's go to the 89 football season. Now, the 89 season was special. This was the first year that Coach Agowski, who was known as Coach E, came to the program. On that team that year, they had Eric Irvin, Wounds, Anthony Dodell, and Brian Husson, just to name a few guys on that ball club. Anybody else who I missed out, I'm sorry. I just don't have enough time to really name everybody. EC Central went 3-6 and six that year, scored 158 points, gave up 223. Let's go down to their schedule. As you can see, they had that, that big victory against Lake Central first game of the year. Then they went kind of on a losing streak. Um, and what's not shown in there is they had a game in, in Kentucky that they won that year. But it's not shown. So they had a game in Kentucky that they won. Um, and that season, you know, Brian Hudson had a good season that year. Oh, close to 1,000 yards rushing. Ir Irving did a real good job that season as well. Let's go to 1990. 1990. Uh, the team improved. Um, let's go back real quick. Sorry. Let's go back to 89. And show you the points for. The point score. That year, since they were three and six, and scored 158 points, they gave up 223. 1990, were four and six, they scored 224 points and gave up 168, which is the big improvement. Uh, one of the things when you get new coaches, uh, that coach always come in, and, it, and, and it, it may take them a year or so to get the program back in order, but that year is a big year for them. That year they had Al Robeson, ran over 1,000 yards. Uh, Robert Smith, who was the first player to go to a big-time school um, of Nebraska that year. And we started off kind of slow with Lake Central Michigan City, Rob, but kind of turned it around with a decent year. Now let's go to 1991 season. 1991 was the big year for East Chicago Central program. This is the first season, the first team that went undefeated in the regular season. And as you can see, let's go ahead and go to that season. Uh, this this was Coach E third year, and they went 10 and one, scored 392 points, and only gave up 146, which is a big turnaround. Um, that season, Coach E ran a really a base offense. Um, a power game, 226 power, power toss, iso lead type deal with the boot boot series. And that year, you know, as everybody know, uh, they had Martel France, uh, they call him Ping, um, led the state in rushing. Uh, they had Tom Mikowski, um probably the best offensive lineman in Central history. He he ended up going to Indiana University. Bob Gillis was the uh, quarterback, very athletic, uh, ran the boot series well. And Royce Love, big time fullback, went to Vanderbilt. Let's scroll down today. That season they went 10 and 1. 
And uh, as you can tell, a lot of W's on here, which is big time football. Lake Central on down. Had a crushing loss to um, Crown Point, the sectional championship game, which is still left for controversy and, you know, different things. But they had a great year, and they put the program on the map. Nineteen ninety two team. Let's go to them. Had a lot of pressure on that team. Um, after having that ten and one season, this team was, you know, now the pressure is on. E C Central. Eight and three. Uh, as you can see, they scored three hundred and seven points. Gave it one sixty eight, which is down from nineteen ninety one season. Um that team, you know, scored three hundred and ninety two points. It was probably the all time high, but Still putting up 300 points and only giving up 168, you're going to have good good results. Uh, very, very good season. On that ball club, of course, everybody know about Royce Robeson and um, Damon Glenn. Just to name a few guys. Um, and also they had um, Gregory Dodell, Snuffy. Great receiver. He, he ended up going to Grand Valley State. Damon Glenn and Royce went to Wisconsin University. As you can see, their season started off a little different. Lost the first two games and then went on the eight game winning streak. Then lost the last one to Maryville against Jamal Williams. Nineteen ninety three. This is the first year that um Coach E kind of opened his offense up, his playbook up. He he didn't have the um Big time running back in a Marcho France or a Royce Robeson. He had uh, Willie Collins, who's more of a he's really a wide receiver at the time, but Willie was able to um, turn himself into a running back and had a real, real good season. Ended up scoring 18 touchdowns that season. They had um, Damon Williams, Sniff, Al Thomas, and Willie Collins. So, they a few guys. Uh, Brian Hardaway was on that team and um, had a down year. And uh, I can explain why they had a down year. But that year, they scored 238 points, gave up 253. After having two great years of football, a lot of teams in the the region didn't want to play East Chicago Central. So Coach E had to go out and find teams to play us. And because, you know, the team was on a, was on a national stage, big-time schools throughout the state wanted one of the players now. So that's Penn, Terre Haute North, uh, Ben Davis, at the time Gary uh, Gary Wallace was still a dominant program. Um, Providence Catholic, which is New Lenox, Providence Catholic, Lake Central was the tough team that year. They even went down the state, lost in the state. So on that schedule, they had five five tough games: Penn, Terre Haute, Gary Wallace, Ben Davis, New Lenox, Lake Central. Six tough games, and their record kind of suffered, you know, because of that. But still, a, a nice ball club, a very athletic team. And did a pretty good job that year. Nineteen ninety four. Okay, EC went one and eight. Um, this is the first year that Coach Richards came through the program. You know, as everybody know, Coach E ended up leaving and going to Crown Point. This is the first year that Coach Richards took over, and he went one and eight. Um, Scored 108 points and gave up 379, which I think to this day is still the highest in Central history. Um, the team was, I was a sophomore that year in that team. The team was loaded with talent, loaded with talent. But I think with the new coaching system, um, Coach Richard didn't really change too much up. But he changed, you know, he kind of brought his his style to it. Coach wanted to do more, a little more passing, wanted to open the game up, which is which is good for the program. Uh, his his offense ended up helping future athletes um, have have good seasons at East Chicago Central. So as you can see, they played Penn, Terre Haute North, Lou Wallace. Got our one and only victory against Bishano, and then the rest of the season, as you can see, is was was pretty rough. Um, that was a long season for us, but uh, Coach Richards did a real good job. They had players like John Massey, Jahi Garrett. Mo Love, Chris Phillips, and Tori Armstrong. 